fastest way to 10,000 months of coding in 2024. Internet made coder. I have made videos about you before and you have unpublicized the video. Yes, your last video where I called you out where you, in your course you said, besides the point, you can see here, like, look at this title. Land a 100,000 software engineering job in six months without a CS degree, even if you've never written a line of code before. Like, that is such a dangerous line to put because not only are you giving false premise that you guarantee this 100k software, well, I called you out and you remove that video you unpublished it it's gone what happened to it but now you are back now you know what i like to do if you make a bold statement like this i gotta welcome you to the show today i wanted to tell you what is the fastest and smartest way to get to ten thousand dollars a month with coding and i say this as someone who has walked this path but someone who has walked this path i make ten thousand dollars a month with coding so i know what i am talking about who might do some things very very differently if i was starting over and by the way this path works even if you don't by the way guys he's gonna plug his course if you think he's not gonna plug his course right here right smack in the middle of my new course ad i do need to be honest with you in 2024 the tech industry is not the same as it used to be like perhaps three to five years ago there is a lot of competition because a yep. lot of people have realized that learning the code is literally the easiest and fastest way to get to financial <laughs> Bro, I hate that claim so much. I hate that claim so much. I hate that claim so much. I hate it so much. And this is why people, not only am I mad about him making that claim, I'm mad about all these people, all 38,000 people who have watched it and the 309 subscribers who believe this nonsense, right? This is why we have an influx of engineers who don't know shit because you hear like, it's the easiest thing. Financial independence, easy to learn, lots of money to make. <laughs> It has never been easy. It shouldn't be thought of as easy, okay? Learning to programming takes time, just like with anything else. Learning to programming takes effort, concentration, discipline. There's so many elements of programming. There's the front end, the back end. Is it the hardest? No, I definitely don't think it's like the hardest thing in the world, but it shouldn't be taken as just like anyone can pick up a keyboard and anyone can write a few lines of code. And in six months, you'll be making this amount of money. Like, and like someone just said in comments, he's posting meta senior level engineer, $448,000 compensation. Yes, it is possible to get this compensation. And yes, they exist. And yes, you can probably make more. The people who are getting this 5 k compensation, these senior engineers at Meta are like deeply rooted, deeply understanding developers who know what they're talking about. Which means that if you simply learn to code without keeping in mind a specific path to get to your goals, you might just be wasting your time. But before I tell you what is the most optimal career path for developers to maximize their income throughout their careers, as well as how following what everyone else does today could be an absolute disastrous choice for your career, we need to start with fixing the most common beginner problems that stops beginners from getting anywhere with learning. Which is stop watching videos like this. In the code, which I want to illustrate to you with this stuff. Paradoxically, precisely because we have so much choice as programmers, it sort of leads so many beginners to get paralyzed and do not get anywhere with any of them because they keep like dipping their toes into all these different things. But in reality, any of them could work if you just stuck to one thing for long enough. And by the way, if you're wondering what is the right roadmap for you based on your budget, your preferences and mm -hmm. things like this, I previously made a video like this where I literally break down 40 different coding courses that I've personally done and I curate them into a couple of different roadmaps. They can literally just follow from zero to everything you need to know based Based on your budget. Fuck, level, man. You're still wondering about what to do. You make it so hard to like you. And just watch that video and pick one of those roadmaps. After that, you can finally get into step one, which is just getting your first ever professional job as a software developer. At this stage, I don't care what the salary is. It could even be unpaid because this allows you to buy yourself time, to then start plotting your next move in secret, which we'll talk about in the next step. Now, of course, it's possible that just with this one step, you'll already land a 120K a year job, but chances are this is not going to happen yet. And if that's the case, wait, was this advice really just get a job? Wait, what the fuck was the advice there? Did this man literally just say land a software engineering job? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Did I just miss something? Or did he just literally say get a job and it doesn't matter what it pays? Uh huh? Step one, get a job. Step two, profit. Mother that's called a job! Please don't feel bad. Like, it didn't happen for me either. For me, what happened is that I was finally able to stick to one path in step one. I learned to code from scratch on my own. Rather than just waiting for the perfect job, I just took the first opportunity I got, which okay. happened to come via an internship I had done previously at a company in a completely different role. So I was able to get my foot in the door very, very quickly in the industry. But there was one massive problem. The salary was not really what I wanted. So I almost instantly okay. started looking for a better one. But it turns out that in order to get into the best companies, there is one big obstacle that stands in the way. 
away. And that is the dreaded coding interview. And in order to pass this coding, the dreaded coding interview, okay. This whole video is how to make $10,000 a month. And you're like, I just got a job that paid me no dollars a month. What? In interviews at the best companies, you need to learn something called data structures and algorithms. And in case you're not aware, data structures and algorithms are like the foundation of what programming is. You see, a program is nothing but number one, some input data. Number two, some series of steps that you apply on that input data. Wait, 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 Everyone shut up, shut up. Lunatic, shut up, shut up. Station of what programming is. You see, a program is nothing. A program is nothing more than. But number one, some input data. Number two, some series of steps that you apply on that input data. And then number three, the output of the program and this th oh that that's what oh okay so all that's just what programming is it's input data steps you apply on the data and then the output of the program oh okay that's all that's just what it is that's all it is it's just in and out three-step process is collectively known as an algorithm so as programmers our task is to design this algorithm but because time is finite and our computers resources are finite ideally we want these algorithms to be as fast and efficient as by the way a lot of people complain a lot about like how coding interviews are unfair and like all these concepts you don't actually use them in practice and that may or may not be true and you can have your opinions about that but the fact is that if you want to pass these kinds of interviews that a lot of companies ask you simply have no other choice so you're talking about leak code data structures and algorithms yep. so that is going to be your step and look we're getting into his course right here we're getting into it so let's see let's see all the internet code defense, a lot of defense things things. I, I see a couple of guys in chat earlier in my own journey of learning data structures and algorithms and for that reason because i also realized that there's currently no good python based data structures and algorithms course i would <laughs> Wait, 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 And through this journey, I learned a lot of things that I wish I knew a lot earlier in my own journey of learning data structures and algorithms. And for that reason, because I also realized that there's currently no good Python based data structures and algorithms. <laughs> he realized there's currently no good Python based data structures course. This course, I would here like to pre block my own algorithms and data structures course that I am making. It's called Algo University. And it's going to be coming out like probably in the next few weeks from when you watch this video. There's going to be a link down below. We can either sign up to the waitlist or purchase it if you are watching this in the future when the course is already out. So if you've been looking for one Python based resource for this, then you can check it out if you want. Now, after you master data structures and algorithms, you now Defend this, please. Please. Where are you guys at? You guys awfully quiet now, huh? You guys awfully quiet now, huh? It's a pre-order. It's a pre-order to what he says is Algo University. Is this the right thing? Didn't he just drop it? I don't think this is, I don't think this is the same one. I don't understand this video at all. Like, bro, where's the actual advice? You said go learn lead code? Like, he's just said the goal, is that it? Get a low, he said get a software engineering job and then do lead code? Is that really what he spins for 12 minutes? TLDR are special in one thing and become better in one thing. That alone won't get you $10,000 a month. I agree. Great video, reminds me a dog that chases two bones catches neither and people are like yeah for sure this this must be good absolutely not this is not good i don't even know I, I still don't get i don't get this video get a job and then buy my course like bro you know how many job like courses python based are out there for dsna need code need code is python based and i bet you nico could wipe the floor with you on data structure algorithms okay